Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. On this episode, we're gonna try to figure out where we're gonna put this ECU unit. Engine control unit, uh, computer brain, um, engine brain, whatever you wanna call it. Um, we think we got a location picked out. We're gonna see if we think the wires will we reach and uh, if we can make this work. So follow along. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. And uh, as I said, uh, we'll try to keep them coming as much as I can so uh, you can see how this whole thing's going together. Thanks again. So here's my computer. As I said, Factory 5 shows this thing right back into there. I don't know if it's sideways or up and down. I'll have to go look. Um, but you know what? That actually could be very nice. I don't think it could be that way. It's going to have to be up higher, I believe. Probably up into here somewhere because you've got the uh, bell housing, but I don't know where that's going to line up. So that could be, yeah, you know what? I might just do this. Either way, I've got to strip the harness back. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The harness is going to have to be stripped back so I can make it into here. I think that would actually be pretty nice. And then we could probably get the fuel pressure regulator into here, the hose, and then a little fuel line into here. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put the, uh, you've got that power distribution unit though. So I don't know if that point I put the power distribution unit over into here. That's a possibility too. So then everything's kind of tucked back and hidden and that way there's nothing up onto here. I, you know what? I'm liking that more and more. Either way, this has got to be stripped back. And this way I've got no penetrations. I keep all my space in the foot box. All the AC units will go up top and all this stuff goes on the back wall. So, and this is gonna plug into here. Yep, I think that's the only way it can go right there. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. If it goes down too low, that's gonna hit the bell housing. So, maybe it goes this way. Yeah, there we go. So that's the way that's gonna go, right there. So, yeah, so I'm gonna have to look at this. Um, as I said, if I get this stripped back into here, kind of do a loop, and go right back into there, plug up on in. Yeah, you're gonna have a little mess into here with wires. Um, but yeah, this would be so much easier to just get this thing back up into here. Even if I do it sideways like this, you know, because bell housing is gonna be right about here. That's a possibility. I do like this, then everything's kind of hit. Even if I stuck it up higher, I can make a spacer, space it out. And I even saw one of the guys, he stuck this whole thing back behind the dash and just had this and the wire sticking out that way. I'm thinking if I go downward, um, that could be really nice because then it's all kind of hidden down there above the bell housing. Hi, yeah, yeah. Choices, choices, decisions. So we'll see. I'm going to uh, think about this. Allie. Got my shop dog here. Say hi to everybody. Yeah, she helps out. She gives me technical advice. So, so we're gonna go back to uh, trying to get this computer redone. I'm actually gonna start pulling this harness apart so we can figure out what we need to do with that computer. As I said, right now, I think it's going on that back firewall. I think that's gonna be the, probably not the cleanest, but I think it's gonna be the easiest. That leaves the foot, foot box free. There's no uh, intrusions or penetrations. Plus I'm also seeing with how tight it is here, I'm gonna have to get the wire back up in there. So I just think that's probably gonna be the best. Whether I do it flipped upside down at the bottom, I don't know yet, we'll get that. Once I get this peeled back, then we'll kind of mock it up and go from there. So we'll start by peeling back this harness and uh, see how far we can go. As I'm trying to peel back this harness, they got this tape on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but it's like aggressive and I don't know if it's even gonna peel off. I may have to, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's weird tape. It's like a cloth almost, something you'd see from a long time you know, past. So I'm just gonna kind of start sticking these up here. May reuse them, may not. Uh, as I said, this is gonna take some time. Yeah, I got a funny feeling. I'm gonna have to redo this whole freaking harness. Boy. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I got a funny feeling I'm gonna have to just redo this whole thing. I think it's probably my best bet. Um, this I could probably leave on there until I figure it out. So I'm just gonna wrap this back up like this. Yeah, see, so I've got to get to here, to here, 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 peel this thing back till I can pull those wires out and keep feeding this thing back upon itself. And then once I do that, um, then hopefully the harness will come out back down in here somewhere. That's kind of the key. That's how I need to do this. So you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. You know, it's either that or you stick the computer right here and call it done, and I don't want to do that. So we are going to peel this thing back and go from there. Wiring harness is uh, slowly being taken apart. I'm back to here. As I said, I think I gotta get back into here somewhere before I can truly make this thing happen. Um, so we'll just keep pl uh, plowing along. I'm labeling everything as you can see. So that's injector number two. I'll label the coil back to the coil plugs. This way I don't mistake where I'm putting anything, even though I think it's pretty hard. I'm sure the coils probably go from one plug to the other. But uh, we'll label it all. That way I don't get confused when it all goes back together again. As I said, I'm sure I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> extend the uh, throttle uh, one here because that one's not going to reach along with the ground, which goes to here. And uh, this is the front cam sensor. I think that one's going to have to be, yeah, because I can see one wire goes one way, the other goes the direction the other. So, yeah, this is going to be a little project, uh, but in the end, I think it'll be worth it just to get the computer back where it needs to be. And I'm pretty sure that's where it's going is on the firewall. But I am going to try to flip it upside down so that way the wires are all tucked up underneath. But we'll see once I get the bell housing. I'm probably going to have to pull the bell housing off, bolt it to the back of the motor to get an idea of what I'm dealing with uh, space-wise. So I won't continue to bore you with this stuff. So I got the harness. Uh, the harness is peeled back. I got the computer plugged into the one main plug. And I'm thinking, this is where it can go. As long as I can clear the bell housing, um, which I'm gonna have to pull the bell housing off the transmission, bolt it up to the back of the motor in place here to figure out where this needs to go. I'm gonna have to space it out a little bit to clear that. Um, but I'm thinking right there, that could look pretty good. As I said, and then the wires are pulled back now to where then I can wrap these back on themselves or pull them all the way back to tuck them back. I'm not really sure there, but I'm gonna throw the uh, bell housing up in here. That way we can get an idea. As I said, I don't want it mounted up into here. Um, so yeah, let me get the bell housing bolted up in there. And then we'll see what we're dealing with as far as space-wise, because uh, that's gonna be a lot of dead space back in there, and uh, I think this could be good. Much better than coming out the top, then you just got all that harness. This way it's kind of tucked, you just see the top of the computer, which looks kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, let me get the bell housing off. Bell housing is now bolted up. So now I'm gonna put the computer back in there, very gently, and see if we're gonna have space. And you know what? I think we are. I think we can make this thing work. We're gonna have to space the computer out just a little bit, maybe an inch. And it's gotta be up probably into here, I'm guessing. So maybe I can pick up those cross tubes that come around here and I could drill into that and now we have a nice solid mount. But you know what? This is the way I'm gonna do it. Hopefully you guys can all see that. So this is where I'm going to mount the computer. Um, I got the bell housing bolted up. As you can see, I've got plenty of clearance. Uh, wow, I think this is going to be nice. That way the wires are all hidden down low. Still going to have a mess of wires, but at least they're hidden down low. So I got to grab the rest of the harness and make sure that that's all going to clear too. See how that goes in. I'm guessing they all come out the same way. But I'm gonna go look at it and we're gonna plug it all in. And if that's the case, this is the way this computer is gonna go. Space it out about an inch, see if I can pick up those bars. If I have to come up a little higher, that'd even be better. So, they like I said, I don't have a whole lot here, but if I'm back an inch, if I'm out an inch, inch and a half like this, I clear the uh, firewall up there. 
Oh, the only bad thing is I know I've got the windshield wipers here too, so I gotta think about that. Okay, so let me go grab the rest of the harness and see what we're looking at here. This is the harness that came in the control pack, and then uh, this is what they call the manual trans harness. I think it's basically just the O2 sensors. So this one is gonna plug into one of these, and I'm assuming this one here, yep, trans. Wow, so you are got to be kidding me. Hi, yi yi. Really? Well, that could kind of screw screw this whole thing up here. <laughs> well, let's plug this in. Might as well get the other one. That's going that could screw me up. Let's get this other harness in here and see what we got stuff. Um, so as long as this plugs in this way, I think I'll be okay. Okay, so I like that. That is nice. And this will go to our... Hi, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have a whole shit pot full of wires down there I'm gonna have to like wrap up or do something with, because look at this. Hey, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be another problem. It's like I'm going to have all this wiring loom here that goes to all these relays. What am I going to do with that? Do I run it back down the tunnel, do a loop back up? I don't know. Oh, man, oh, man. I do not. I mean, look at all those wires. I do not want to start cutting, splicing those, but I might have to. Ah, that's not going to be good. Okay, so let's uh, I'm gonna set this up here. So I think if we take this, that one freaking Clico is like right in the damn way. which we can feed all this through a small panel, put a bushing on that, and then from here we can run it right back around. So this way all the wires are down low. This thing here for the power distribution, I think we're gonna have to cut a bunch of those. I hate to say it, don't wanna do it, but if not, we got ourselves a mess on our hands. And this is all the stuff that goes inside. I'm not sure what that one does. I think that's the throttle. Clutch travel switch, uh, and then you got your uh, OBD2 port. So this one here has got to go inside. So oh, I mean, it's got to peel that whole harness back. Hi, yi, yi. This whole thing is going to be a project, but I guess to do it right, you know, I know I could stick it right here, call it a day, but I just don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. I want this thing to be clean, and uh, I think it's this I think it's the way to do it. Well, as I say, that's another one in the can. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, I think we got our ECU location pretty well situated. So now the hard work begins, and uh, we'll start uh, pulling wires back, and uh, I'll try to video as much as I can. A lot of this stuff is just boring, tedious work. So don't expect a lot, but I'll do what I can. At least you got an idea of what my thought processes are and uh, where I'm going with this. So thanks again for watching, and uh, please hit subscribe if you want me to keep these videos coming your way. Thank you.